Hello again, good news. Remember the iPhone video recorder that I reviewed a few months back? Well, it's just been released for the iPhone 3G. Now, it's pretty much the same app that it was back then, except now it works on 3G iPhones, so I'm not going to review it again. Uh, it does seem to do a little bit of better job with audio. Even the video is a bit clearer. It doesn't tear quite as much in fast movements and things like that, so I can pan around here like this. And it's still pretty smooth. Now, the install is not for the faint of heart. In fact, it gets a bit complicated if you're not uh, quite a tech head. You have to uh, install OpenSSH, then open a shell into your phone, create a couple of directories, change the permissions on those directories, and then you can install iPhone Video Recorder and away you go. Oh, and another bonus, if you actually purchase the uh, first version for the original iPhone, your code still works, so you don't have to buy it all over again. You can unlock the version with the existing unlock code you already have, just like I have. Hooray! Okay, so all that's out of the way, let's take a look at how you actually get this thing working on your iPhone 3G. Alright, first step, if you haven't already done so, is to obviously jailbreak your phone. Head on over to blog.iphone-dev.org to find out how to do that. Once that's done, launch Cydia, which should be installed by default when you jailbreak. This is where you can install all manner of iPhone apps that aren't on the official App Store. If you haven't already done so, install the OpenSSH framework. This is essential. If you skip it, the iPhone video recorder will not work. Next, you're going to need to add www.iphonevideorecorder.com to the list of sources in Cydia and let it update. Now you can go find the iPhone video recorder application and install. And here comes the more nerdy bit. You're going to need to open an SSH shell to your iPhone. On a Mac, just open Terminal, enter the IP address of your phone, and this can be found in your settings under Wi-Fi by selecting the network you're connected to. In Terminal, type in the following, and as with all things Unix, it is essential to remember that everything is case sensitive. Pay attention to your caps. SSH root at whatever your IP address is, it'll then ask you for your password. The default password for your iPhone is Alpine. Next, we're going to create a couple of directories that the iPhone video recorder needs to work. Type in the following commands, cd slash var slash mobile, mkdir documents, chmod777 documents, cd slash applications, mkdir documents, chmod777 documents. This has just created two directories called documents in two different places on your phone and changed the permissions so the iPhone video recorder can actually write to them. This is where the files and settings are going to be saved. Again, all this is case sensitive, so pay attention, take it slow and get it right or it will not work. That's it, you're all done. Quit your SSH session and you're ready to start taking video on your iPhone 3G. Oh, and another nerdy note, the ability to email the files is now gone for whatever reason. You can still upload it direct to YouTube from within the application, but if you want to get these files on your computer so you can email them to friends or family or edit them or whatever, you're going to need to open up your FTP client on your computer, set it to use the SSH file transfer protocol, punch in your iPhone's IP address, login name and password as we talked about before, navigate to the slash private slash var slash mobile slash documents folder. That's where the completed video recordings are stored, so you can just drag and drop your files from there. Remember, this procedure is not for the faint of heart and it's not for the newbie. I'm taking no responsibility whatsoever if you manage to screw up your phone and have to restore it. You can't actually do any permanent damage, but you can still mess things up pretty badly. So this is entirely at your own risk. This guide is for informational purposes only. <laughs> Catch you next time.